Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating mga viewers And it's a pretty pretty difficult market Alright, so But uh, here we are, we, we're going to check and see kung ano yung ating mga nakikita sa market And we'll try to generate some of the uh, ideas na pwede natin makuha pag ganitong market Alright, so uh, I'd like to congratulate pa rin kung sino mga still uh, doing the grind in the market kahit na ganitong mahirap because uh, that's what separates you right so it's a very very thin line yung magiging uh, winner or loser kayo sa market and uh, pagka ganitong uh, uh, bear market at mahirap marami na yung nag-aayawan no? that's, that's for a fact right so before we do all that uh, let me share to you yung ating quick word from our sponsor this comes from 1st Peter chapter 5 verse 7 Give all your worries and cares to God for He cares about you. Alright, so uh, for me, personally speaking, uh, marami akong bagay and problema. Alright, so marami na akong nakita, medyo maedad na rin naman tayo, na hindi nasasob ng pera. No? So it may be family problems or probably sa health mo, right? or sa health ng mga kamag-anak or... No? So maraming bagay ang ibig ko sabihin na hindi pa pwedeng ano uh, bilhin o ma-resolve ng pera. So I don't know no but uh, usually yung mga uh, young professional like yung mga early 20s no early 30s meron silang uh, thinking na once na marami na silang pera or they accumulate uh, a certain amount of money magiging masaya na, no? Or, ibig sabihin, magiging madali na yung buhay. Not necessarily true. Right? So, marami nga rin, no? Usually, yung nagiging problema, usually, ba? Mga traders coming from uh, OFW, no? So, marami nagiging problema, uh, mostly financially, okay naman, but uh, usually, ba? Nagkakaroon ng problema sa asawa or sa anak, no? And uh, mahirap, mahirap mag-trabaho uh, sa ibang bansa and mahirap din maging anak ng isang OFW because there are so many things na you're gonna miss out, no? And uh, iba pa rin talaga kapag ka nandito yung parents sa Pilipinas, mas nasusubay ba yan? Yung anak, no? Especially, no? Speaking of that, yung mga anak natin or mga, mga mas bata sa atin o no? mga kapatid tayo na mas bata, no? Maraming bagay yung nangyayari ngayon, no? If you, if you are... Uh, sa news, mababasa mo yung mga nag, nagkakaroon ng kidnapping right, so meron pa nga yung mga challenge-challenge sa Facebook na yung mga maglalastas ka no? so, so mahirap talaga so uh, tulad nga sinasabi ko sa inyo uh, this Bible contains a lot of truths and a lot of advices para sa atin so with that, uh, I encourage you guys no? to, to keep your perspective no tamang perspective sa stock market and sa pera and with everything else right so again i encourage you to read the bible as always and uh marami kang matututunan dito no sa sa buhay and almost everything no hindi dito na naman inadvise na sa atin and with that all right so again if you want something 100% dito tayo sa bible magbabase and kung ano man yung sasabihin ko at this point in time, no, uh, we're just uh, analyzing this and probabilities lang, no, so hindi hundred percent, no. So with that, let's now try to check and see kung ano yung nangyayari sa ating market and uh, ano pa yung pwede natin anticipate So again, we, we have the largest draft. I think uh, this for this year, 321 points, no, so that is uh, something very very alarming at this point in time we did close at 7641 right msci global index effort affecting our local market no so morgan morgan stanley uh i think this is a uh, index no you see right so to make the story short all right so nagkakaroon ng rebalancing yung uh, global index ng uh, morgan stanley in effect, yung mga Chinese stocks na large cap and mid cap, medyo mas tinaasan 
yung bigat nila dun sa index. So, definitely, ang nangyayari, uh, foreign funds uh, are rebalancing their portfolio and naapektuhan tayo ng no? local market natin. Siyempre, nagli-liquidate sila para ipondo dun sa kanilang uh, sa equities na yon And uh, kung ikukumpara mo to sa atin, baga para siyang ano eh, uh, di ba recently, if you remember it right, yung PCOR was kick out and then yung bloom pumasok. No? So, ano nangyari dun sa bloom? Tumaas. Siyempre, once na pumasok ka dun sa index names, uh, mas nagkakaroon ng pansin, no? yung mga fund managers and uh, mas mas ano mas mas nagiging confidence no so parang ganun din nangyari no so medyo binigitan yung index ng mga chinese names niya sa global index na yan so normally uh, with that pumapasok doon yung mga funds no hindi lang naman sa chinese kundi yung international no so ganun so this is the bigger picture no so at this point in time we should be very careful and defensive at this point and uh, we should be very very uh, careful kasi uh, this is a big big drop all right so even yung mga weekly gain for this 2019 hindi ganito kalaki no so this is a big big sign na mag-ingat talaga tayo with our entries and ating mga stocks na bibili all right so with that uh, we'll try to check yung chart ng PSEI last week no we have only 4 days at this at this uh, week and we're seeing no at this area at least uh, 7500 to 7480 would be a good support all right medyo huminto na rito but we're not sure all right so ibig sabihin uh we might a likelihood to revisit itong 75 area no so again at this point in time in 30 index teams uh if wala naman talaga magandang setup or magandang uh, entries uh, medyo ingatan niyo na no ingatan niyo na yung mga index names na yun because we're seeing na yung 75 likelihood na mahit yan if wala pa ring masyadong magandang development or news sa ating uh, uh, PSI market uh, yun nga lang ang ating pag-asa rito yung mga quarterly reports we should be out no meron na rin mga naglalabasan ngayon but I think the majority or the bulk of that would come around the third week or fourth week ng uh, March, no? if I'm not uh, mistaken. Alright, so with that, makita natin yung index. We have yung EEI which moved 20.9%. This was, I think, on Tuesday. We, we, I already thought no, na magkakaroon ng reshuffle or magkakaroon ng rebalancing. But uh, from what we see, uh, almost halos bumalik na niya sa dati niyang uh, pressure no nung no, no, Tuesday opening but I have a detailed explanation on our on my next video you might want to check that para dito sa EEI no so again ang ating sentiment no tulad ganang sinabi ko sa inyo there are a lot of the indecisions especially sa index a lot of uh, of liquidation na nangyayari and we see yung uh, fail breakouts no we have yung EEI and even tong HVN, no? Nag-breakout to. Nag-breakout but uh, eventually bumagsak din. Alright, so ganun, no? Ganun ka tindi yung ating uh, indecision. And even yung PNB, uh, uh, a subtle breakout but halos kinain din pabalik, no? So, yun yung state ng ating market ngayon. There are a lot of index names na nagkakaroon ng steady liquidation. Alright, so alam naman natin yun. So, we have yung mga uh, EI and HVN nag-fail din. No? So again, uh, for this week, uh, ang i-rate natin sa ating market would be 4. We must be uh, very, very uh, cautious sa pagpili ng ating mga stocks that uh, we should be entering and trading and... Uh, Let's try to check and see muna no? o, on how the news will be absorbed for at least next week. And let's try to see kung magkakaroon tayo ng mga uh, positive news or positive catalyst na makapag-reverse sa ating index. No? So right now, we're currently seeing you 7.5 or 7.480 as an immediate support currently. No? So let's now move on sa ating watch list and... Uh, 
This is uh, included pa rin no, sa ating watch list yung FDC even though from what we're seeing sa, sa, sa index or sa whole market in itself. We're seeing na yung uh, FDC is still in indecision. No? And tinanggal na nga natin yung buy on uh, breakout dito because with the state of market, we are now where it's more than likely to hit that support. No? Dito sa 1345 to 1317 area yung nakikita nating uh, at least support. No? Uh, three times nyo nang reject yan and every time na nagpo-fall yung price doon uh, pumapalo pa balik no we see one here two and three here no so i think it's gonna touch it's definitely going to touch yung area na yan and if you are going to position yung FDC uh, maganda rin naman no so maganda lang dito sa FDC we're just uh, two to three weeks away from the quarterly reports And as we all know, uh, FDC, maganda yung uh, core, uh, earnings nito. And this might trigger a catalyst no? for, for FDC. But currently, right now, we're just going to observe and be on the sideline for FDC. Right? So, alam naman natin, maraming project. Eh, may project na pinanalo to na medyo malaki na talaga nagpabulusok sa kanya. No? So, if I remember it right, no? uh, before the end of the year, talagang uh, nag-run up tong FDC, no? So, yun yung ating uh, take sa FDC. Let's now move on sa isa pa nating watch list. This would be still green, no? So, from the last two candles, this is a doji indecision. And yung uh, last Friday's closing naman niya, it didn't fall below sa Thursday. So, I think that's a good sign, no? At least, and uh, if you're going to buy itong green, again, uh, we have so a soft support here. Dito sa area na to, this would be uh, 320, 325 area. But if you're really, really skeptic, uh, dito tayo, bibili, no? Sa 2.93 uh, peso area, no? So, green, no? Alam naman natin, uh, one of the bull flags, no? If hindi magpapatuloy itong pattern na to, uh, I think this is still uh, bullish, but... Uh, We do not know, no? With the way the market is acting, it might dip or it might uh, consolidate muna, no? At least yun yung ating, uh, at the very least, mag-consolidate dito sa area na to, itong green, and wag nang ma-heat, no? Kasi mas delikado, once it hit itong area na to, medyo sa tingin ko, that's a bad, bad sign for, for green, no? For it to maintain, and uh, sa, tulad ka nang sinabi ko nga sa, sa inyo, with the way Thursday and Friday close, Uh, at least we could still hope na uh, still mag-consolidate siya at the top before pushing no itong green no and let's try to check and see muna no kung ano mangyayari and uh, that's our take for green there are a lot of uh, projects and investors dito sa green no long term investors so let's now move on sa isa ba sa ating watch list this was included for the last week but again etong 180 area acted as a resistance once again no and medyo bumababa siya but the good thing is we might see another opening we could see another support at around 168 169.8 area if hindi ka nakapasok and if you're bullish dito sa SMC uh, still good pa rin naman no you could either buy dito sa sa range na to and then Mabilis na lang yung cut loss, no? Kung bumagsak nyo sa below 168, bilisan nyo na yung cut loss. Pwede yung ganun yung execute mo, no? But sa... Mas maganda siguro, let's try to check and see. Because I think it will hit, no? It will hit yung 168 and it will check kung ano yung magiging uh, uh, reaction nya rito, no? Sa, sa area ng 168. Let's try to check and see sa SMC, no? Again, sa 180, uh, nag-resist. And it's currently falling sa immediate support niya na 168 or 169 area. So with that, uh, SMC, we're still uh, good for SMC. At least, hindi siya ganun ka tinding bumagsak. No? That's like, like what we see sa, sa PLDT last week. Medyo matindi yung uh, naging pabagsak niya. And yung fee core din. No? Alright. So next on our watch list. Uh, matagal naman na to. I think this was included in and out na rin sa ating watch list would be SLI 
we all know 120 nandito yung insti institutional uh, buyers and uh, coming out of the bear market this is one of the stocks na talaga nagpop no dito sa area pa lang na to spotted naman na natin yan and uh, maganda no the general trend is uptrend and it finally break it finally break last friday nung talagang medyo nagbabagsakan na lahat and uh, medyo na confirm na rin yung mga projects na mga future projects ng SLI we finally see it uh, breaking yung critical uh, level na around 146 147 and it did close no sa 154 and if you are still going to hindi mo na hindi mo na catch to no tong SLI you might want to check and see kung how it would react sa 150 because I think this would retest, no? And one thing dito sa SLI, medyo ingat ka rito because the spread is very big, no? So, mabilis yung galawan, either pa baba or pataas. And sometimes, no? And most of the time, nagkakaroon ng liquidity issue rito. Medyo yung turnover hindi ganun ka kalaki. So, if you're going to position dito sa SLI, at least very, very minimal lang yung inyong position kasi baka ma ma maiwanan ka naman, no? Once ang magbentahan and then yung liquidity habulin mo ang laki nung ta tatalunin mo no matatalo sa iyo no so again kung hindi intact yung mentality mo dito sa SLI wag ka na muna pumasok no but uh, on the longer longer time frame maganda yung SLI there are projects technically speaking maganda rin and uh, there are a lot of good things no sa SLI and we see again for the second time around this year pinatunayan niya once the market moves down yung SLI naman pataas no so this is an outlier and you should take off note of that para sa SLI no so I think maganda na naman na discuss na naman natin tong SLI but for now with the way the index is uh, moving and showing you might want to check and see muna kung ano yung magiging reaction niya at, at around 150 no you have a big big volume here nung breakout niya rito mm coming out of January pa lang bumulusok na to eh no and then again nagpakita na naman yung buyers dito sa area na to so SLI technically and uh, fundamentally speaking this is a very good uh, company uh, let's try to check and see no gandahan nyo nilang interest nyo rito para at least safe kayo dito sa SLI so last but not the least would be FGEN no alam naman natin since uh, I think Mga October pa lang to nagpakita na ng lakas to eh, no? Yung pag-break niya rito, dire diretso na rin yung, eh, yung FGEN. We see uh, two, two feeble points here. And it's currently, currently uh, at the resistance. And uh, maganda rin naman to, no? At least mag-consolidate siya sa top. And uh, hindi naman siya din ganun na-apektuhan nung last week na nangyari sa market. And uh, maganda, no? At least, if you're still skeptical, ba, bumili ka once it, it breaks itong resistance area na to, no? And right now, you don't want to be get trapped dyan sa area na yan because maaaring matagalan din yung F dyan bago makausad, no? With the way that the things are going, uh, medyo I think kung makunti na lang din yung buyback nito or, or wala na or boost na rin, and you might want to check and see kung ma mabibreak niya tong area na to makakalagpa siya dyan sa, re sa red resistance area na yan and let's try to check and see kung ano yung magiging reaction niya no? so again that is our watch list that would be FGN, SLI SMC we have green yung FDC yan yung mga still, still strong names and candidates sa ating watch list sa ating core watch list and uh, See you on the chart quick session sa isa pang video and we'll try to check and see kung ano man yung mga iba pang opportunities. Again, the market is a very difficult right now and if wala ka namang solid na mga plano, at least stay on the sideline and observe ka na lang muna. No? So again, this is PSA Recap. Maraming maraming salamat sa panonood.